It's me, your teacher on basic science and technology, Mr. Fijabi T.A. From CTY International Group of School, Oyo State, Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. I greet you, my dear pupils, and everyone there by saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you are still keeping to the rules of health and safety from this COVID-19. May God continue to protect us. And I do hope you also revise all that you've learned on the e-learning platform of the CTY International Group of School, Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Fine. I hope you also, in the last lesson, in the last lesson, you were taught about the temperature scales, the types of temperature scales, their symbols, and their boiling and freezing points. Today, I am going to teach you on how to convert or change from one form of temperature scale into another. Importance of temperature, importance of heat and temperature and the difference between it and temperature. Now, conversion or changing from one type of temperature scale to another. One, to change a temperature given in Fahrenheit scale into the same given by the Celsius or centigrade scale, you have to subtract from 32 degree Fahrenheit and multiply the remainder by 5 over 9. For example, convert 212 degree Fahrenheit into Celsius scale. 212 degree minus 32 degree times 5 over 9. So by the time you, you minus 32 degree from 212 degree, it remains 180 degree. So you multiply by 5 over 9. So 180 times 5 gives us 900 divided by 9. So 900 divided by 9 will give us 100 degree Celsius. So that's how we arrive at 100 degree Celsius. So we have converted 212 degree Fahrenheit into 100 degree Celsius. Good. Number two, to change temperature given by the Celsius scale into the same given Fahrenheit scale. Multiply the Celsius degree by 9 over 5 and add 32 to the product. For example, change 100, 100 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. 100 degree multiplied by 9 over 5 plus 32. So 100 degree times 9 will give us 900 all over 5. So by the time you divide 900 divided by 5, it gives us 180. So that 180 plus 32 will give us 212 degree Fahrenheit. So that is why, that is how it is converted to degree Fahrenheit. So 100 degree Celsius is converted to 212 degree Fahrenheit. Good. Now let's move on to the third one. To convert or change from Fahrenheit scale to Riahumo scale. The first thing to do is that you subtract 32 degree from Fahrenheit degree and multiply the remainder by 4 over 9. The product will be temperature the, the, temp, the product will be temperature in Riahumo's degree. Let's look at, at an example of under these two. Convert 65 degree Fahrenheit to Riahumo scale. So that will be 59 minus 32 degree multiplied by 4 over 9. So when you subtract 59, when you subtract 32 from 59 degree, it remains 27 degree. So you now multiply that 27 degree by 4. So it will give us 108. So that 108 divided by 9, we arrive at 12 degree. 12 degree. So our final answer is 12 degree. Riauma. So that is that on that. So that's the conversion of temperature scale from one form to
from one temperature scale into another so that is clear now now let's move on to the next one which is the importance of heat and temperature the importance of heat and temperature first and foremost heat from the sun makes life on earth possible the heat from the sun makes life on earth possible the human being need heat for life activities then plants also receive heat from the sun which produce photosynthesis that we give them photosynthesis that produces a food that the plants that we get from plants then two it makes our home warm and helps to cook our food with the help of it we we we, we, we have warmth during cold and the heat help us to cook our food so the heat that is supplied by by fire or electric heat it helps in the cooking of our food then three it helps to dry our clothes and farm products it helps to dry our clothes and farm products for example cocoa seeds is being dried it will be dry after processing then it continues like that so it goes through under a lot of processing processes so the heat helps to dry the cocoa seed and undergoes other processing four temperature increases the rate of the body metabolism temperature increases the rate of body metabolism that is temperature helps in the changing of the body the body changes from one form to another so the temperature increase help in this help in the body uh, metabolism then five temperature helps in raising animals and in the manufacture of products in industries temperature helps in raising animals and in the and in the manufacture of products in industries so the temperature helps farmers that raises poultry, poultry farmers and uh, animals. So it helps them in determining what to give animals at a particular time, the drugs to give them, and the temperature helps the farmers to rear animals, to rear animals in good condition. And in the industry too, the manufacturers use temperatures in manufacturing some products in the industries so the the temperature determines how some products are being manufactured from the industries now let's look at the differences between heat and temperature heat and temperature heat is a form of energy while temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body or medium Again, heat is a form of energy. Why temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body or medium? B. Heat causes change in temperature. Heat causes change in temperature. Then, temperature is the amount of heat generated. Heat causes change in temperature. Why temperature is the amount of heat generated? Another difference between heat and temperature is that heat is a change that flows through the body. Why temperature determines the direction of heat flow. So that is where we call it a day for the lessons today. So we have discussed in this lesson, we have discussed conversion and changing from one type of temperature scheme to another. You have seen the explanation there down there. Then also the importance of heat and temperature. And lastly, the difference between heat and temperature. So I believe you've understand this. May Allah continue to be with us and give us better understanding. So stay home and be safe. May Allah continue to shower his blessings and protection over us. So assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.